The Akita is a seriously impressive breed. They are extremely loyal guardians, their human companion, and their devotion is lifelong. In today's video, we'll be comparing this strong and powerful breed with the Bull Mastiff, a fearless and devoted dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Akita Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Akita and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Akita. So if you're a lifelong Akita lover, you're thinking about getting one and you've just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Akita video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The Akita gets its name from the province of Akita in northern Japan, where it is believed that they originated from. Their known existence goes back to the 1600s, a time when the breed guarded the Japanese royalty and were used for hunting fowl and larger game, including animals such as bears. The breed was introduced to America by a woman named Helen Keller. The Japanese presented her with an Akita puppy, which was the first Akita puppy to be brought to the USA. However, sadly this pup died at a very young age of a viral disease. The Japanese government presented Keller with her first puppy's older brother after the upsetting ordeal of losing her first pup. After World War II, American servicemen that had been stationed in Japan brought back more of the remarkable dogs. The American Akita developed into a more robust dog than the Japanese Akita and so was highly valued. Both variations of the breed are historically and well renowned for fearlessness and loyalty. The Bull Massif was developed in the mid 19th century by English gamekeepers who needed a big, quiet and fearless dog with an ability to track down poachers quickly and a large amount of strength in order to hold them. It is thought that there were a number of dogs bred to be able to develop the perfect dog for what they needed, but it was the Bulldog and the Massif mix that was the success that they were after. The Massif had the size, but lacked the aggression they were after, and the Bulldog was brave and tenacious, but lacked the size they needed to knock down and hold a man. They became known as the Gamekeeper's Night Dog, and it worked alongside the Gamekeeper and their family. They were bred for their use and temperament. Once poaching declined, the Bull Massif was used mostly as a guard dog. It wasn't actually until the 20th century that this breed was bred as a distinct breed instead of a crossbreed. The Bull Massif male is generally between 25 and 27 inches at the shoulder and weighs around 110 to 130 pounds. Female Bull Mastiffs stem, female bull mastiff stem between 24 to 26 inches and weigh around 100 to 120 pounds. The breed has a short and dense coat that offers them good protection from cold weathers and come in three different colour variations of red, fawn or brindle with a dark muzzle and ears. Occasionally, the breed have a small white mark on their chest. Male Akitas stand at around 26 to 28 inches at the shoulder, weighing around 85 to 130 pounds. Female Akitas are usually from 24 to 26 inches and weigh between 70 to 110 pounds. Akitas can come in many different coat colours and combinations, including black, white, chocolate and brindle. They have a double layer coat with a very dense undercoat and a short top coat. It is super important to consider the potential health conditions that your dog could be prone to as you will need to be able to afford to care for them as they need. The Akita is a generally healthy dog but can be prone to certain conditions including hip dysplasia, bloat, hypothyroidism and other genetic glandular conditions and eye problems. The Bull Mastiff is also a generally healthy breed but they can be prone to particular conditions including hip and elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism, eye problems, heart defects, kidney stones, bloat, bone conditions, cancer and skin problems due to having sensitive skin. The Bull Mastiff is a very fearless and confident breed, but they're very obedient to their human's commands due to their loyalty to their family. They are natural protectors of their home and their family and will respond in an instant if they feel that either of those things is being threatened. As with all dogs, the Bull Mastiff needs to be socialised from a very early age in order to have a dog that is well-rounded and to prevent them from being wary of strangers and other dogs. They can make a great family companion and they're devoted to all members of the family. They're patient and protective of children. However, due to their size, they can accidentally knock over a small child, so this is very important to consider before bringing such a large breed into your home. The Akita is a bold, confident and strong-willed dog which is extremely devoted and loyal to their family. They are naturally wary of strangers which is due to being bred to guard and protect their family at all costs. They can be aggressive towards other dogs that they are unfamiliar with, especially those of the same sex, so they're best suited to a one-dog household. The Akita is affectionate and playful with their family. They long for their companionship and they will want to be part of daily activities. They can also be quite mouthy and love to be carrying toys or household items around. An Akita's strong personality can be overwhelming and so they need an owner that is familiar with their character and is able to handle them well. 
They're a breed that needs plenty of exercise, both physically and mentally, in order to prevent boredom, which could lead to unwanted destructive behaviours. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Akita videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Akita Show.